CAR T-cell therapy, or chimeric antigen receptor T-cell therapy, is a type of cellular therapy called immunotherapy. Immunotherapy uses your own immune system to help fight cancer. You have many different types of white blood cells. T-cells, a type of white blood cell, can help detect and destroy invading cells. CAR T-cell therapy uses your own T-cells to detect and destroy cancer cells. First, T-cells are collected from your bloodstream. This is done through a process called apheresis. Once your T-cells are collected, they may be processed and then shipped to a pharmaceutical company. At that pharmaceutical company, the cells are genetically changed to make chimeric antigen receptors. After this step, the cells are known as chimeric antigen receptor, CAR, T-cells. This process to modify and multiply the cells can take several weeks. During that additional time, chemotherapy may be given, if recommended by your doctor. Once the cells are ready, they're shipped back to Nebraska Medicine. Before receiving the CAR T-cells, you'll be given a course of conditioning chemotherapy to prepare your body to use those CAR T-cells. After the chemotherapy, you may be admitted to the hospital and given your CAR T-cell infusion. Patients usually stay in the hospital for a couple of weeks after the infusion to be monitored for side effects. You will need to stay in the Omaha area for at least four weeks after the infusion. Also, patients cannot drive for eight weeks after they have received their CAR T-cells. I often think that CAR T-cell is kind of, uh, it goes in two parts now. Um, one is the first to get getting to the CAR T. It can be um, hard uh, for patients who have aggressive lymphomas to keep them under control while you wade through uh, the process of, of um, insurance approval, uh, single case agreements, um, and then leading up into the apheresis uh, period where you're able to pull the CAR T cells out and then make, get them manufactured successfully so that it's safe to, to reinfuse. These lymphomas that uh, don't care that it's a weekend, they don't care that it's a holiday, as you're trying to even get to the apheresis period. After the apheresis, it's really trying to keep you, the patient, healthy uh, and fit enough um, to undergo the lymphodepleting chemotherapy that's necessary prior to reinfusion of the CAR T cells. So you have a whole team trying to support you uh, during that period of time. I think that's the unique thing uh, here at Nebraska Medicine is we have the expertise uh, both on the front end of CAR T-cell, of getting people uh, to their CAR T-cell as quickly as possible. But when it is time for CAR T-cell to occur, we have the right people in place to help care for you. The type of cancer I had was uh, large, diffuse B-cell lymphoma and follicular lymphoma. And I had my transplant on Christmas Eve 2019. When I heard that, you know, the, the stem cell transplant, after the stem cell transplant, that my cancer hadn't completely gone away. There was a little hiding. I was a little disappointed. I was glad that, to hear that there was another treatment and that the, the CAR T cell therapy was what they had recommended. Recovery from the, the CAR T cell therapy, it wasn't bad other than working on the stamina and, you know, getting a little bit of exercise. and but and not being able to drive. <laughs>